Already, I mean, uh, some of the weapons were British, some were uh, MBDA or other European weapons, but we have a broad range of US weapons integrated on the aircraft as well. So US EGBU, GBU weapons are integrated. And one of the things we've uh, really striven for is to make further weapon integration as chip, cheap and easy as possible. So at an early stage, we do a lot of aerodynamic testing of the weapons so that actually to put new weapons on becomes easier. And we're also making the interface data-driven. So it makes it the, the new weapon integration cheaper as well so that's that's kind of key for us I think so I spoke about European weapons there's a we have a broad range of American weapons integrated okay so the meteor missile itself is now finished so as in it's you know it's ready for use in terms of our, our typhoons integration then we uh, we first test fired it a couple of years ago we did some more trials firings proper operational uh, scenarios uh, last uh, November time uh, and we've got further trials firings uh, planned it will be fully operational in the phase two enhancement which we expect to around about 2016 2017 to have on typhoon on the front line so in that sort of time frame is when it will be front line use on the on the uh, you know in service with the air forces and it's not just having the weapon integrated you know when you get a, a sort of a real change in capability like meteor gives you you have to change your tactics you have to change uh, you know how you're actually going to train to make sure you can fully exploit that capability so so those are the sort of things that the the, the host air forces have to have to look into but as a fighter pilot, you know, it gives me a really great capability that, that means I can outmatch any of the threats out there and, and gives me a massive advantage.